Penny is in Florida. So I am trying to, we have a wooden box built around it. And I'm trying to get in here and get this screw out so I can access the top of the water here. Which when we put it in, you see my cat lays up there. But anyways, put this top in over the water heater so that we thought no critters could get in. So, I might have it. I'm going to go outside and turn the water on and see which one is leaking. Just turned the water on just enough that I could get an idea. Okay, I see the quest pipe is broken. That's it, honey. Okay, we see that. Um, it's getting in here. That's the problem. This is going to be fun. Especially with all those electrical wires laying in water. Pipe is split. This quest pipe, I guess that's what it is. I don't know, I didn't think the gray pipe was quest. Shorter screwdriver. I honestly don't ever use flathead screwdrivers. It's always Phillips heads. This is going to be a be uh, getting in this situation. Just get it loosened up just enough to turn it. It's tight enough. Yeah. 
that it on with clamps. And it's not that the clamps failed, it's the, um, the actual pipe split. I can't see what I'm doing. These things are, hose clamps are good for a lot of stuff, but this one feels tight. You know, my hose clamp my position, I can't work with It's still not loose. Loosen up. I really don't have any space to move my arms or anything. take an intermission. I gotta go outside and see what's going on. So, it's just crappy old quest pipe. This line right here. Oh, looks like I'm gonna need to Get a pipe wrench. I like that super electrical near me, even though the power is off. I guess y'all can tell by now that I don't know what I'm doing. But my honey's in Florida. And so I have no choice. And if I can't fix it, I'll just leave it off until he comes home. even know which way it turns. Most stuff turns lefty-loosey. Righty-tighty. Looks like we might have it there. 
so the top of the line has a split in it. If I had enough pipe or line or whatever you call it, I could trim it. I got a hacksaw, a little hacksaw. And let's see, how does this go in? Oh, okay, got that. So, I don't know why that tape is on there. So it didn't fail at the bottom. At the top it failed. And now I have to figure out how to get it loose from the top, y'all. So I'm up here in this weird position again with these pliers and I'm gonna try to pull that pipe off without messing up the copper. I'm not sure how to do that. Especially since I don't have a lot of room. pocket knife. Lordy, my honey always fixes stuff. I may have to call him and ask him how to get this loose. After much, much, much struggle, I've got this rotten quest pipe loose. I had to, I had to break it and cut it and pull it and plier it, and it had a split. So now I'm going to try to trim it, and hopefully I have some slack to pull the line up maybe a little I can't take much off I don't know if y'all know this I dropped my phone down in the wall I live in an old mobile home trying to see where the split was. It's kind of hard for me to see now because I've damaged the pipe so much. I don't know why the Lord told me to buy this hacksaw the other day. This pipe was so hard to get off up there off the copper fitting. I'm gonna use a little women's ingenuity, I think, and put some Vaseline on the copper fitting. And I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, I think I'm gonna hold this pipe over my gas range for a minute warm it up and then try to go stick it on there real quick so I can flex it because it's so hard to get on there and the muscle isn't here I'm not even sure I'm gonna have enough I hope so. I'm just going to have to pull and pull and pull water lines. I'm going to go put this on the hose and check it for leaks. So, what have I learned during this process? 
first thing I've learned is that mineral oil works wonders for getting pipe back on. Second thing I've learned is don't drop your song down into the wet sheet rock. Third thing I've learned, if you're going to use pipe clamps, put the screws facing your access. Fourth thing I've learned, if you're going to enclose your water heater, don't put a cabinet in front of it so that the person who has to fix it can't get to it. Those are my lessons that I learned, and I'm going to turn the water on in a minute and see if I fixed it. Oh, the moment of revelation. Have we fixed it? Well, you know what? It is good enough for me. I have done it. And there will be no more screws put in that access. I'm going to go outside and check if the lines are leaking outside. I'm pretty proud of myself. I was pretty mad. Not at the water heater, but you know, 